Can't figure out what to get your favorite filmmaker this holiday? Well, I've got you covered. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. Alrighty, so the holidays are right around the corner and you have no idea what to buy that special filmmaker in your life. Or maybe you are that special filmmaker and mom keeps asking you what you want. Either way, you need some ideas. So today, I came up with a list of my top 10 filmmaker gifts for this holiday season. I've included something for every budget, both reasonably priced stocking stuffers and some more expensive items. And as usual, all of these items will be linked in the description below. So grab a pen and let's go. One, over the ear headphones. Is that filmmaker in your life still editing with AirPods? No and no, this is not the best way to do an audio mix. When mixing audio, you always want to have a decent pair of external computer speakers or if you must use headphones, use over-the-ear ones because over-the-ears block out that external noise and they give you a more accurate representation of your mix. I like these Bose QuietComfort wireless Bluetooth headphones which retail at $170. They're not cheap, but they do sound great and they're durable. I've had mine for almost three years and they've taken a beating, but they still work like the day I got them. The battery is held up and they always connect to my laptop flawlessly. So give your AirPod using filmmaker an editing upgrade with some over-the-ear headphones. Two, a pocket tripod. Looking to go a little cheaper, or maybe a lot cheaper? Consider the stocking stuffer pocket tripod. Honestly, I use this little guy all the time for positioning my camera when shooting low, or to mount lights on, or even to mount a zoom recorder on. It's totally versatile and, hands down, one of my favorite studio items. This one retails for a whopping four bucks and it can serve as a nice little stocking stuffer for your film friend. I guarantee it's one cheap but great little item that will end up in their everyday kit. Three, an external microphone. If your film friend is a YouTuber and they're still using their camera mic to record audio, they are due for an upgrade. Because if you've been watching my other videos, you know that an external microphone records far better quality audio than the camera mic. One of the most popular, if not the most popular YouTube mics is the Rode VideoMic Go, which retails for around 79 bucks. I have one and it's absolutely great. It mounts to the hot shoe of most cameras and connects via pigtail cord with a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is included. And it comes with a shock mount and a windshield. It doesn't require a battery and it's super easy to use. It's the perfect first microphone. To boot, Rode has been around for over 50 years. They make tons of high quality mics used by professionals the world over. So get your film friends started on the road to good audio with a Rode Video Mic Go. See what I did there? Four, a memory card wallet. Is your film pal still carrying around his or her valuable memory cards in their jean pocket? Well, it's just a matter of time before they end up in the wash, ruined with all that footage gone down the drain, literally. And I say this because I have done this once. Then I started using a memory card wallet. And since then, my footage has always made it to the computer safely. I got this generic black one here, which does the job just fine. It comes in a two pack, costs 10 bucks, and is the perfect stocking stuffer. It holds up to 20 memory cards, and it also holds my micro SD cards. And there are hard case ones available, which are waterproof if you choose. So get your filmmaking friend organized today with an oh-so-useful memory card wallet. Five, a LinkedIn learning subscription. Is your friend using Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, or After Effects? Well, there's always more to learn when it comes to filmmaking. LinkedIn Learning is one of the most comprehensive online courses for Adobe Cloud programs in addition to hundreds of other programs. And as a new member, the first month is free. Then it's 20 bucks a month. Personally, when I was just starting out, I did tons of LinkedIn learning courses, which at the time was called lynda.com, and it was great. 
With levels ranging from absolute beginner to advanced, you can get a wide range of graphics and editing instruction that you can do at your own pace. So give them the gift of learning this year because there's always something new to learn when it comes to making films. Six, a white balance card. Both photographers and filmmakers know the importance of a proper white balance. And when it comes time to do it, many of them either fumble to find a white piece of paper or they can't find something white or that white thing is dirty and then they waste time or they get an inaccurate reading. So get them one of my favorite little reusable white balance cards. This one retails for around 20 bucks and it's durable, comes with a nice little carrying bag and has a gray card on the back for exposure metering. It makes a great little stocking stuffer. So get your film friend a foldable white balance card and they'll thank you every time they're editing with their perfectly white balanced footage. Seven, an external hard drive. You know what every filmmaker needs literally all the time? More storage space, because they never have enough, ever. It's not one of the sexiest gifts, but it's one of the most useful. I work on Macs and my drives of choice are Seagates. I've been using some of mine for a decade now with literally no problem. No data loss, no connection problems, nothing. You can get a one terabyte version for 50 bucks or a two terabyte for 60. It's rugged, compact, and it can be formatted for Mac or PC. So give them the gift of media storage. It's literally the one thing that every filmmaker always needs. Eight, a fanny pack. No, not this kind of fanny pack, this kind of fanny pack. One that holds batteries, media cards, phone, wallet, keys, and Tylenol and even a water bottle. Because when they're shooting, your filmmaker friend runs around all day, and there are not enough pockets on God's green earth to carry all their stuff. I use this Manhattan Portage one, and I'm not joking when I say that I get asked about it every single time. It retails for around 50 bucks, which I know is a little pricey, but it's the perfect size, and it has all the right pockets, and it's really well made. And the black color kind of blends in with dark clothing, and doesn't look too cringy. Or maybe it does, and I'm just fooling myself. But either way, I don't care because I can't live without it. And your film friend would probably agree. Nine, a Peak Design camera clip. The Peak Design camera clip is one of the photo and film world's best inventions. It's a sturdy little clip that attaches to your camera and your backpack strap, and it securely holds just about any camera right there where it's easy to access. So you can grab your camera in an instant and start shooting. I love, love, love mine, and I can tell you that this thing is a workhorse. It holds up to 200 pounds of force, according to Peak Design. And friends, I kind of believe it. The Peak Design clip is not cheap, retailing at 70 bucks, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny. I've used it hiking, vlogging, and in general, every time I didn't want to dig through my bag for my camera. So give them a Peak Design camera clip so they can easily access their camera on their next excursion. 10, a LumiCube light. All right, those who've watched my other videos have heard me rave endlessly about the LumiCube lights. It's basically a little rechargeable light that can dial in any color, and it can be used in a variety of situations. On top of your camera, on a little stand to light a product, as background lighting, you name it. It comes with a diffuser and it's Bluetooth compatible so that you can control it remotely. It's compact and the battery lasts for four hours at 50% brightness. It's not cheap, retailing at 150 bucks, but friends, there's a reason I always talk about these LumiCube lights. It's because I use this thing on almost every shoot. So if your film friend doesn't already have a portable light and you wanna make their day, give them a LumiCube Panel Pro. It will brighten their holiday for sure. Alrighty friends, that's my list. As mentioned, all of these items are linked in the description for you. And if you do end up giving or getting any of these, comment below. I'd love to know how they worked out. And lastly, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.